Hi developers, I'm Hossam Dillai, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn some small tips and tricks for Xamarin Forms development. We'll see four tips. The first one will be about string format, how we can use string format with data binding. So we'll go deeper in this to explore how we can extract, for example, the date or the time from a date time value. Then we'll go to the tip number two, which will be about using a value converter. And here we'll go and pass additional parameters that will help us to um, convert the value we want to use. The third tip will be about lower casing the text written on a button in Xamarin Forms Android application. Then we'll go and explore how we can use images embedded in the PCL project instead of using images embedded for each of our iOS, Android, and uh, Windows platform uh, projects. Here I start with an MVVM application. So here I ha do have a main view model. I do have a property called title and then created at of type date time. I initialize those two properties in order to use them from my view. My view is in the uh, main page right here. So here I'm binding this main page to the main view model in order to be able to use the uh, created at and title properties. So the first thing to explore here is the um, string format. So here let's say for example I want to show this uh, these two texts. I want to show a video title and then I want to concatenate it to the value of my title. A traditional solution would be using stack layout, then putting the two labels inside that stack layout, which is uh, which have orientation equal uh, horizontal. So then the two texts will be shown one uh, at the right of the other. But with string format, we can sh display the two texts in just one label. So the syntax is simple right here inside the binding to uh, the title. We add the property or the value here string format equal then using the two columns here. We specify the text we want to concatenate to our uh, title value. And then we put the title value inside those semicolons. Uh, inside of them, we write a zero to say this. Uh, here we want to um, to write the value for the title. So the displayed value here will be video title two points. Then the string format value. Now for displaying the uh, date time. We do almost the same thing right here. So to display the value for created at, which here uh, have this uh, date time value, we can do the following. So you use the same syntax as used with the title. But now if I want only to display some values from this date time, let's say here I want to display the day, the uh, date, then the month. Here it's written in, uh, uh, in French, but if I, I change that to my iOS application, then here it's written in, uh, in English because it respects the, um, the language, the default language in my device. Cool. So here I want to extract those values. So what I do is inside this uh, semicolon, we add this syntax, we say here two points DDD and this is for uh, displaying the day right here. So it's writing Sunday thanks to this syntax. Then we display the day of today which is 27 through this syntax DD. To display then the month we use MMMM four times in order to display the full month. If you only, for example, display three times the month, then the syntax here will be 
or the value shown will uh, change to another syntax now what's if i want only to display the hour and the minute so the syntax right here will change to zero two points then h h capital letters then mm -M in order to display the hours and the minutes here i do have um, a slide that shows you all the possibilities you can use in order to display the year the month the day the hour the minutes the seconds and so on even if you want to display the uh, time zone so you can do that through this uh, string format uh, values which are valid for XAML but also the same syntax could be used in your C sharp code now let's move to our tip number two which is using the i value converters so here i want to bind the created at date time value so uh, but to that date time i want to add 10 days to that value so what i can do here a traditional solution would be using the converter parameter to add the number of the days you want to do but an, another solution is using here the um, adding a property to our date time converter so if you can note here i'm creating a resource called it date time converter which is of type date time converter my date time converter is a class that uh, implements i value converter so it will take the value, pass it to that converter. The value taken here um, in this sample would be the created at. But we can pass some other parameters as I have done here. I created a, a property called it days to add. And this existed in my value converter. So it's here property days to add. So I initialized this days to add to 10 to say add 10 years or 10 days. Then here from the convert method, what I do here is that I get the date value. Then I invoke add days to add, add that uh, number of days to the returned value. Then the result will be a day in which we add 10 days so here from 27 uh, august we get 9 or uh, september uh, 6. cool now let's move to another section and here let me go back to android so by default the android view for our xamarin forms application displays the text inside the button as uppercase so if we want to change that to be lower cases then the solution would be changing the styles of our android application so here if i go to my android application go to resources then here inside values we do have the styles.xml file if you don't have it already on your project then you can create it and you can make uh, your main activity uses that uh, theme style using this syntax right here so lay styles.xml contains all the styles used in the android application so here from the colors from the style of the window or the action bar here to make to enable um, showing the text as lowercase inside the buttons i have added this item saying here android two points text all caps equal false so this will be uh, disabled so this will disable showing the text as uppercase in my android project now let's move to the tip or to the last tip so right here for displaying images i can display images embedded in my android or ios application by calling the image by its name through the source property so here i'm calling icon.png and icon lives here in the resources folder in my android application icon.png so i'm showing that 
image through its name. It doesn't exist in my PCL project, but it only exists in my, my Android and my iOS project. Now if I want to show this image, show, uh, which exists only on my um, PCL project called logo.png, then and with this way I don't have to recopy it on my Android and iOS project, it only exists in my PCL. So with this way I can do here use image resource, which is um, which is an extension that I have created right here. So if I go to that extension, you can find here the code for that extension, which will take the image and try to convert it uh, for, to use from resource in order to get that image. Here following this link, Xamarin Forms have published the code for this extension and also the guidelines for using images. So here it, what it tells me to do, it is that I need to change the property of this image. So if I go to properties, then here I need to change that to be embedded resource. So after changing that to use embedded resources, then I can recall my image from my XAML code by using that image resource extension. Then I call the image by adding the uh, the folder in which that image lives in. So here it's inside my Xamarin app project and if it is inside another folder then I should add dot the name of that folder. Then here I add the name for uh, this uh, icon. Cool, so I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you.